Hello fellow Graphic45 lovers. It is Anna Sika here and today I am going to be creating several tags using this adorable collection called Little Things. The images in this collection are just stunning. I love them. And the colours are so beautiful. I just adore all these greens and yellows and blues and reds. Simply adorable. I mean, you can't, you can't get enough of this, can you? Beautiful colours. Now, I want to create tags that will be perfect for any occasion. And what I love about the Graphic 45 papers is that you can always find beautiful focal points in any of the 12 by 12 papers. And I decided to cut these three images from this particular paper, or pattern paper, and I plan on using them as the focal point of each tack. And of course, since I am already fussy cutting, I decided to cut loads of mushrooms. I'm sorry that this cutting part is a bit out of focus. I didn't notice on my camera, I'm so sorry. But I cut so many mushrooms. I have more than I need. But that is the beautiful thing about the Graphic 45 papers. They offer so much for the fussy cutting lover. And I do like to fussy cut. It's very relaxing. And it just makes, I don't know, I focus more, I guess. So I really enjoyed cutting all these little pretties up. And I plan on using them uh, to layer and to put behind and in front of the images. Now look at these. I mean, how cute are they? Oh, so cute. Now I also wanted leaves. So I used the leaf die from the uh, large tag die set. And I cut these from vellum. You can of course cut these from any kind of paper, but I chose to go with a vellum for this project. Mm -hmm. And here I have everything ready. I have the tag die cut and I'm using the craft one and we've got a pattern paper and then the image I had already mentioned I cut out of the uh, actual 12 by 12 paper. Now, now that I've cut all these apart and I didn't really measure anything, I just made sure that they had a big bit of a frame. I am inking the edges of every single piece. Uh, this is brown ink, you can use of course any colour you want. But I wanted to keep it in like tone with the craft tag itself, so I wanted that brown vintagey feel, I guess. And I didn't just use ink to distress. I decided to give them even a bit more of a vintagey distressed feel. So I used my scissors and I use them to scrape around the edges to basically, I guess, well, distress the paper. I don't really rip it, but almost, I guess. And you could use anything, scissors, knives, your fingers, distress tool, whatever. I really like the dimension it gives to the final project. And then I ink the edges again. That way, I I'm sure that I'll have the brown colour both from the previous regular inking, distressing and then inking again so they won't be like truly white. Then I just use liquid adhesive to stick the uh, tag itself to the uh, craft tag. Love this die set. I mean it makes tag making so easy. And then I use that same liquid glue to add the square piece. And like I said, it can be any size you want. I just wanted to make sure that it was a wee bit of a frame around the uh, focal image itself. And then I put 3D, 3D foam sorry, on the uh, main image. Now before I stick it down, 
I am going to be adding those leaves in the back because I want them to go like they're growing from far and behind the image. So it adds a bit of a frame or dimension really to the tag itself. So it is like it's growing behind that cute little fella. And since vellum can be a wee bit flimsy, it started to, well, look alive a bit. So I had to use a bit more adhesive, but no biggie. Um, it's gonna be stuck there anyway. And then I decided to use one of the mushroom pads as a background as well. And that adds so much to a very simple tag. I mean, this is a very simple, quick and easy tag, but all of these little itsy bitsies of layers and just adding things behind, in front, tugging them in here and there, gives that tag much more dimension and I guess life really. And then I'm just picking what mushrooms I like to use. Some of these I use liquid adhesive on, others I add that 3D foam to give it even more dimension. I'm just playing around. There was no big plan or anything. I'm just creating and going with the flow, really. I'm sorry about the camera angle. Apparently it was trying to focus non-stop and, well, I didn't notice. I was too busy crafting, sorry. I hope it's not too <coughs> annoying. <laughs> sorry about that. And then I just basically place these wherever I think they look pretty. Like I said, no rhyme or reason, no plan just going with the flow and enjoying the creative process. That's what it's all about, really. And you see how all these, all these mushrooms can be used for so many things. And that's just basically a corner of one of the pattern papers. I have most of the paper still intact, even though I've been cutting all of these mushrooms out, so. It is well worth it taking the time to fussy cut and have a stash of pretty images next time you are in the crafty mood, really. And I think I'm almost done with that one. And then all I had to do was add a piece of ribbon to the top. And here are my three tags. And I used mushrooms on the back as well for some of them. Well, because they're cute. So those are my very quick and easy tags. And here are some photos for you to have a closer look at. I truly hope that you enjoyed it. And if you create your own tag, please make sure to tag us hashtag graphic 45 so we can look at your images thank you so much for stopping by bye, bye.